Hey girls, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a good video for you. I am sorry it's taken me a minute, but this video is going to be all about my fajas and I'm gonna be talking about maybe some tips and tricks that you don't know already to help you during your recovery. So if you're still interested, keep watching. Okay girls, so for the video, I do have underwear on. I'm like, I'm gonna try and stand on my tippy toes so you can see. Um, but normally you would not be wearing any underwear with your faja. And for t-shirts, I suggest getting stretchy material. If you're normally a large, before your surgery, you're pretty safe getting a large as long as it like shrinks down or getting a, even a medium. You don't want it to be too tight nor too loose. So that's something, a little tip, a little tip. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and just put on my stage two garment. Um, I bought this one online and I will put the links in the description box below so you guys can go and get yours too but let me get this sucker on so when putting on your faja the legs is like the most important part to easily be able to put your faja on so you want to this is the part where it goes over my leg obviously to line up the stitching on the side evenly so I like to like scrunch it up and then put my foot through and pull up because I have thick thighs I like naturally do it sucks but you know when you're putting on your faja that's gonna be a mission so if you don't line it up oh my gosh girl it's gonna take you so much longer so that's another little tip that you can do Okay, so this Baja I thought was a stage two that I purchased uh, while in the US, but it's not. This is the one that they gave me um, in the Dominican for my stage two garment. And here it is, and it's on the last row. It does have three um, little hooks, rows of hooks, so you can adjust it. Um, I'm already feeling it kind of tight because, oh my God, it's been a minute. But anyways, Anyway, start. Um, this Baja, I wanted to get out of it as soon as possible um, because in the back, Bajas have an area for your booty. So around here, let me see if I'll turn this way, maybe you'll see it better, yeah. Around here, there is stitching for your butt to fit in these little pockets, okay? This particular Baja, was so small and it as you can see it is for the butt it should be cuffing my booty up here because that's where my butt starts and it started down here so it kept leaving like an indent and if you don't know already your faja if it leaves an indent on your body as you're wearing it your skin will mold that way so it's very important to find a you know a good fitting faja for you so yeah so on the airplane I wore this home. I think I was here in the States like two weeks with this Baja. And I mean, it did its job, but there's certain things that I'm just like, no, I need, I need to get out of it. It's not working out. And then it started getting looser and things like that. So yeah, here it is. And it does go over my knee. This Baja also has different straps. So the straps on this one, are removable and they're like bra straps so you can literally adjust and pull and move it to your liking so that was a benefit with this Baja but other than that I'm like girl I did not spend all this money to get my body shaped and then to ruin it with the Faja so yeah let me get into the next Faja that I would recommend you guys purchasing okay so this is the Faja that I purchased while back home and it has three rows of hooks. See, one, two, and three, and then the actual hook sides. These are the hooks, and then these are like the little loops that the hooks go into. And then this one is an and slim, the original. 
So the tag looks like this. And it's a size 34. This one's a little different from the first one because of the straps as well. It's like the back of a bra. And it's pretty sturdy too. So, yeah, let me go ahead and get this one on for you guys. And I'll be right back. Okay. So again, once it's over your thighs, you want to bring these straps up. I recommend having them already adjusted to your size before trying to put it on because it's a mission. <laughs> And then, you know, tuck in your shirt and things like that. And this is the butt. So get your butt in there. Your shirt will roll up. Try as much as possible to kind of fix that because it's going to leave like an indent in your skin. Not permanent, it does kind of go away, but it's freaking annoying. So, and we'll go ahead and tuck that in and buckle this baby up okay so now that we are at the top of my faja I can kind of show you a little bit better on um, an easier technique to kind of clip it and get yourself strapped in <laughs> okay so this side which is my left your right has the loops for the hooks which are on my right your left you want to first with your thumb finger reach underneath to whichever loop you want to hook for me it's the last one and then grab the hook side so with this um, with your left thumb and left index finger you first want to position the hook or the loop excuse me so position and then with the hook loop into it so position and hook position hook position and hook if you do it the other way where you're like trying to do the hook and reach over Honey, you're wasting your time. So you'll get practice, obviously, because you'll be wearing it. But if you wanna just start off knowing what the heck you're doing, that's the way to do it. <laughs> so position and then hook it. And then at the top of this baja, it has like a little latch, but I never really put it on, it doesn't really matter. And the tag's in the front. Most girls cut it off, and then they're not able to tell you what kind of baja it is or what size. So I made sure, I'm like, oh my God, oh I gotta, my gosh, I gotta keep it, cause I gotta tell all my girls. So that's why I still have it on for you. Yes, I thought about you girls. Okay, so like I said, here's my body with the fall. I can breathe. And this is important, ladies, because your results depend on your faha. They really do. I recommend buying this one because your booty fits. If you didn't get a BBL and you just got a tummy tuck, girl, whatever, put a faha on make sure your tummy's nice and tight. This one for me worked well for my buttocks. So here is a tip that will save you quite a bit of money, girl, okay? All right, so now for that tip. Your faja not only keeps you compressed, but because you have liposuction, your body is literally like clay. So you're able to mold it, right? I don't recommend this to um, anybody who had a tummy tuck right after. I suggest waiting, waiting until your incision's really fully healed and it doesn't hurt you. Um, because if not, you're gonna hurt yourself on the inside. You might not see it on the outside, but on the inside, you're not doing yourself any favors. So just wait, girl, there's time. I know you're like, oh my God, I wanna have that already. Take your time. But for my girls who just had a BBO, and are done waiting if they already had the tummy tuck. I recommend purchasing one of these suckers. This, I say will save you a couple bucks because you're not gonna have to buy new fajas all the time because you can just tighten this. Um, but yeah, anyways, it's called a Kiwi Rata and I purchased mine on eBay. I know you can get them on Amazon as well and it looks like this. And what you do is wrap yourself. It's basically just a corset. So they pop the back off. So here we go. It wraps one way, get the other. And then this one's, oh, it just stuck to my butt. It has Velcro. <laughs> and you wrap this side and then this one goes over and your waist is like so much more snatched. Okay. 
so you can see my shirt and then so I recommend buying one of these girls to train your waist to get it itty bitty as small as you can um, obviously don't overdo it you know know your limits if it's hurting you you can't breathe honey it's too tight loosen it up or maybe wait wait on wearing it you don't have to put it on directly right after it's an option um, this will also save you some money on buying fas because you won't have to get the stitching in your fa. Like if you're taking it to a seamstress, you don't have to get it sized in every other week because your body's changing, it's getting smaller. So yeah, purchase this as well. Like I recommend it. And then I love it when I'm working out and I put it on. It's, it's awesome. So yeah, and then I'm gonna pull it down so you can see. I bought two of them because at first I was waist training both because I was noticing that it would ride and stay in the middle and then give me a bulge. So that's optional. Or you can just leave your board in. Let me show you the board. Okay, so aside from your board, you want to purchase these little foam pads. And it's literally like foam. But on one side, it's tacky, it's sticky, so it sticks to your skin. So buy these. I purchased these three with Medina um, in her office. It was a mission. She had to get it from another doctor because they do sell out. Um, so I recommend finding these. I know they're on Amazon. Um, I would just buy them ahead of time so that way you're not waiting. They help when your faha kind of digs in. So even right now that I'm just bending, that's just a natural little bend. If you put this there, it relieves some of the pain so some of the circulation cutting off because remember your body's like super sensitive. It's not like it is right now where I'm just hanging out. No, it hurts. So this will relieve that as well as shape your body. Um, wherever your faja digs into your skin, so right here, if you leave it that way, it, your skin is going to mold that way. I can't stress this enough, ladies. Your skin will stay the way your faja is pinching on your body because it's molding it. So if you wanna, you know, have good results and enjoy your body after you stop wearing your faja, put these on, you look chubbier, your body is weird shaped with them on, you're like, ill. but girl, you have enough time. You have time to be showing off your body and loving your curves. So for now, take care of yourself. And these are, Essential to taking care of yourself by these and then yeah, so yeah, okay. by these. So another tip that I have for you ladies are the thick pads. I know they're like ill like what do you have those for? But these will help you while you're in the DR so much I don't know if you want to wear them still when you get home or maybe you know your body's not as sore So you won't have to but while you're in the DR ladies, you're gonna need this it looks crazy you're like what the hell does she have i did not take these they were on medina's list and i was like girl why am i gonna be lugging stuff that i can't buy there girl i wish i would have thought like that because i didn't have them i had little thinner pads that i just took like just in case they didn't they didn't do what they're supposed to do they did help a little but you know so anyways take some whether it's 10 or 20, but take a few of these. These work for when you get your faja, and like I said, your body's not used to it. You clip this, so the sticky side goes underneath the strap here, towards it. Oh, it will save you so much pain. You'll look a little weird, but you're in recovery. Like, everyone there knows what you're going through. No one will judge you. Like, quit it. Um, there's different brands. And the one that I had was like a pack from my grandma way back when that I was like, I know I had some somewhere. And um, they're called Invocare. <laughs> they look like this, but there's posies um, out there. I know if you go to Rite Aid, you're gonna find them like this. Walgreens, like this. Um, they're not hard to find. So I suggest taking some. I'm gonna put them on so I can show you how crazy I look, okay? So like this not only do they work 
for your shoulders for you know what your faja did you but also like these foam boards they apply a little bit more pressure so let me open up another one look at me i'm over here looking real cute right about now <laughs> Um, remember when I told you guys that I had burned? These relieved so much of the pressure that I had in the rubbing. Um, so I used more than maybe you might if you don't have a burn. And, and either way, I would put this here because you're not used to your faja. So even this piece up here, this just the round thing that lets your boobs breathe, will cut you. You can wear one here. I put mine because my burns were on this side around the burn. So this right here, my burns here, it, I would leave it open. It would just have the gauze with the cream and things like that. And I would just let it, let it air out. It hurts so bad, ladies. And I was still in my stage one faja, the faja that they leave to you like right when you get out of surgery. Hot mess. Hummus, I hope that never happens to you, but if it does, you need, to, you need to know something, let me know, I will help you out as much as I can because I feel your pain, baby girl. Okay, Thanks. so for the next tip, remember my packing video on things that I took? I took this cover up, OMG. If you don't have one of these, you can even make it, go to the craft store, but anyways, because you're looking all crazy, right? You got drains right here. I'll put a picture. You got drains. You got your pads, the foams, and you're just not feeling sexy, especially if you're going through half of what I went through <laughs> um, during my surgery. A lot of girls didn't. They were feeling themselves, but everybody is different. So if you can prepare yourself a little bit more, why not? Anyways, buy this because look at this. Okay, crazy ass pads. Everything's going on. But can you see me? No, you cannot. I loved it. I loved this cover up. I lived in it. Oh my gosh, I can't express how much. I want you to go get this because you're gonna be so much happier. And then obviously you have your drains hanging, things like that. Your body's being pulled and tugged by the faja every which way. Things hurt you, you are not comfortable. In this, no one can see what's going on. I would literally just slip my little arms in here because it's a pretty big slip. You no se ve, you can ask, right? And I would adjust myself. I had a wedgie, pick my wedgie out. Like, girl, you don't have to be seeing what I'm doing over here. Yes. So, I bought this. It was also very easy to be putting on, take it off. Because, like I said, after surgery, you're sore. It, everything hurts you. So, it relieved a lot of the pain that uh, what I would have endured putting on tight clothes, fitted clothes, and things like that. So, yeah. I would recommend going and buying one of these little beach cover-up towels because it's easy. It's easy and they work. And um, yeah, so I'll put the link to this Baja where I bought it in the description box below. If you have any question girls, go ahead and um, leave a comment. If you're a little embarrassed or you don't want anybody to see your comment, you can go ahead and just DM me on Instagram. I'll be happy to answer any of your questions on there. Thank you so much for watching this video, girls. I hope it helps you a little bit. If you still have questions, like I said, go ahead, ask me. I will answer you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.